Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again today. I don't know how many of you know it, but I served in the United States Air Force for 10 years. It was my honor and duty to serve our country. And while I was part of the Air Force, I learned so much from those who I served with. And while today isn't about me, this day holds special meaning to me and veterans from all generations. When we think about it, over the years, men and women of the United States Armed Forces have served and sacrificed much for our country. Patriotic and proud, members of the military have willingly laid down their lives to protect and defend, in wartime and in peace, the Constitution of the United States of America and its freedoms. In America, we have religious freedoms to attend a church of our choosing. We're permitted to own a Bible or several. In this nation, we may choose to marry or not, to vote or not. We have the right to free speech and the right to peacefully assemble. These freedoms have been defended and protected by the members of the military. We read these words from Romans 13, 7. Pay to all what is owed to them, respect to whom respect is owed, honor to whom honor is owed. Today, November 11th, is Veterans Day. Today, we celebrate with great gratitude all who have served or are currently serving in the armed forces. Today, we give honor to whom it's due, to all military veterans. John 15, verses 13 to 14 reminds us, There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. This is my command. Love each other. You know, my friends, many who were called to serve never returned to their family and friends they paid the highest sacrifice in service to their country and in seeking to right wrongs. There are others who have returned but are forever changed and suffer physically, emotionally, and mentally from the scars of war they still carry. Their burdens are ongoing. Others this day are far from home and in harm's way as they leave careers, families, and the comforts of home to answer the call of their country. We must remember each one of these veterans, each one who is serving and has served, and the price that all have paid. So on this Veterans Day, please take time to pause, to reflect on what they have done for our country, to pray for our veterans and my friends and for their families. Thank God for those he's called to serve. Ask him to cover them with his hands of protection. And if you're a veteran, wherever you are placed, whatever position you hold, you are highly esteemed and valued. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. I have some announcements that I want to share with you. Um, Wesley Church is really getting busy and uh, gearing up for the Advent season. Advent begins in just two weeks, and uh, it's going to be an exciting time uh, for us uh, this year. The children began last night um, their practice for the children's play. Uh, they are going to be practicing each Tuesday evening uh, at 6.30 p.m., and their next practice uh, will be on the 16th at 6.30 in the sanctuary. For any questions about this, uh, talk with Amy Whitworth. Poinsettia orders are, are due Sunday, November 14th. Uh, see the bulletin newsletter for details. Uh, order forms are in the bulletin newsletter and in the lobby. Our annual church conference is Monday, November 15th in the Fellowship Hall. Everyone is welcome to attend and all Wesley members are eligible to vote. This is our annual meeting that celebrates our ministry, elects leadership for 2022, 
and cares for other essential items as required by the church discipline. Do you like to sing? Well, we're looking for uh, choir members and our church choir, Rejoice, uh, is getting back together again. And they'll be practicing uh, next Wednesday, November 17th at 7 p.m. I hope you'll enjoy, uh, consider joining us uh, if you enjoy singing. Well, let me close this time uh, with a word of prayer, a prayer today that is uh, really focused uh, at offering a word of blessing and care for our veterans. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, you're not a stranger to war and know the stress our veterans have felt. Please comfort and strengthen them with your Holy Spirit. Meet each one of them right where they are today and speak to their souls. You brought them through many trials. Help them see your mighty hand at work in their lives and know how much you love them. Heal their hearts as well as their bodies. Help us to show our sincere thanks to them and help us all never to forget the sacrifices that they have made. Help us to love them just as you have loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me. We'll do this again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.